Ärligt. Doctor, so we will start. Uh, so hello everyone. It's our pleasure to have you today for our last webinar of the African Webinar Month. So, um, ending our webinar month with a special guest as well. And um, but I can't say except that he's one of the very, very special doctors in Egypt. Um, and He's an international speaker. Um, thanks for him. For him, today, despite he was just arrived to uh, a week ago. Zoom, <laughs> for example, because he was present <laughs> in Eden uh, conference in Dubai. So um, thank you so much, Doctor, for giving us from your time and effort to uh, to join us. Today. I wanted to give the floor for the score team, so we can start. Uh, Yana, the floor is yours. Thank you, Maria. Hello, guys. Uh, I'm Yana from Czechia, and I work as the secretary for <laughs> Score Workforce. And uh, I would like to welcome you also to the to today's webinar. Thank you for joining us. This is our last webinar for the African webinar uh, topics. And we would like to uh, we would like you to enjoy the last webinar. And the floor is for now for the Mahinor, our webinar coordinator. So I would like her to continue in the introduction of today's webinar. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Yana. So to start off uh, again, I introduce myself. My name is Mahinor Kotollo. I am the um, IDS webinar uh, coordinator. And again, I welcome you all. I'm very happy and excited uh, to see you guys in ending this month, the African Region African Region Month. Um, it's very close to my heart. It's where I'm from. I'm from Egypt. And I I love the fact that I'm in, I'm ending this on a great note and a great professor like Dr. Hossein Mohammed coming back from Egypt. So honestly, it's extra special and the perfect way to end this uh, webinar month. Um, Honestly, I there's no words that I can explain the amazing professor of Dr. Dr. Hussein. He's he's been always very supportive of IDS. He has a, a history, long history with the supporting and producing work for all of us and and honestly facilitating so much for us, especially in the last AC uh, in Sharm el Sheikh. So I can't uh, th without um, there's no words to express how much he is valuable to IDS and um um, I will I will briefly introduce his amazingness by being I'm saying an associate lecturer of the cosmetic and restorative dentistry of the faculty of Alexandria University. Dr. Hassem is also um, a key opinion leader for a care company, and I'm delighted to present him today uh, to uh, with the title of the lecture of aesthetic restoration a dental uh, uh, um, recipe. So I'm really really glad to see all you guys here, and again the same familiar faces. So I am looking forward to this and from all of you to um, to attend and to learn and to ask and be ready to ask all the questions at the end in the box. And moreover, please don't forget uh, to get your certificate of uh, for attendance. We'll send the form at the end of the, uh, the webinar. So please uh, stay tuned until the end. Um, and I'll yield the floor to um, Dr. Hassem to... Uh, to start off uh, this web beautiful webinar. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in this session, maybe not less than my interest uh, in my sessions in Dubai two days or three, day, uh, three days ago. Uh, I, will not, I will skip my introduction. You introduced uh, myself better than mine. So uh, this is my faculty, Alexandria University. You can scan the code for more info. We have a lot of uh, educational program you can join. We have exchange program that I'm uh, planning to uh, introduce in a few days uh, coming. And as you mentioned, uh, uh, it's my honor to represent Egypt here in the IADS webinar series. And I'm the last one, and I'm the Egyptian one. <laughs> so please, let me introduce to uh, Egypt. Thank 
Do you think you know who first invented the mirror you look at every morning? Makeup that highlights your beauty. The sandwich you take with you everywhere. Perfume that gives you character. The calendar you'd be lost without. Prosthetics that complete you. The flute that moves your emotions. Paper and ink for documenting history. It doesn't end there. Writing tools, measuring tools, surgical tools, and even mathematics that gives you the power of knowledge. Who do you think pioneered all of this? It all began with one civilization. The same civilization that introduced grand architectures, astronomy, and even the oldest peace treaty. The list goes on and on and on. This is the Egyptian civilization, a civilization so great that a science was created after it. For the past 200 years, Egyptology revealed countless secrets and discoveries of more than 5,000 years of history, and more is yet to come. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Sorry for the video, but I hope that I made a small introduction into Egypt, and I hope to see you all in Egypt, inshallah, in the few coming uh, events. And they said, I'm uh, I'm not new for the IADS. I'm the academic advisor for DASA Egypt, which is a local uh, association representing IADS in Egypt. And we have met a lot of uh, scientific and social and entertainment events. This was a scientific event held maybe six months ago that included top-notch speakers. We covered a lot of fields in the dental fields. And we also made a, a very good exchange program that already the participant experienced Egyptian culture beside uh, a lot of dental, uh, like cosmetics, uh, laser, and a lot of uh, specialties in dentistry. And the program was mentioned in the IDS magazine. And definitely one of the best conferences that I have attended is the annual conference of the IDS in Sharm el Sheikh. And definitely when we say Sharm el Sheikh, you have to see the blue color that already, this was actually the view 60 minutes before my going to lecture in the conference. Imagine that you are attending a conference like this this is a beautiful combination of signs uh, besides uh, the blue view and the amount of uh, social inter and entertainment that we had in this conference. I congratulate uh, Mariam and Mahinar and all the rest of the team for this beautiful conference. Uh, and while we're talking right now, we have also an event is, uh, is coming after 
maybe tomorrow or uh, after tomorrow, also a scientific program covering a lot of dental fields. So let's come into the science. This is the topic for today, indirect restoration, digital recipe. And believe me, when I say digital, how much of digital have changed, have changed the way we deal with the cases every day in our daily practice, starting from the digital impression, going to the digital uh, smile design, and even the uh, big revolution in the 3D branded and melt restoration. And as you can see here, we can in point now integrate the CBCT with the uh, digital impression and even with the 3D face scan, make a virtual mounting that can help you in the large uh, full mouse rehabilitation and occlusion cases. So now the world is shifting and you have to keep it up, okay? So if you are a specialist in aesthetic and full mouse cases, you will feel how this digital workflow have uh, a paradigm shift in your daily workflow. I will show in three different scenarios how the digital helped you and to deal in a different way with your cases. Starting from the smile analysis and what we call digital smile design. And believe me, if you are working for an aesthetic cases till now without making a digital smile design, you are missing a lot. In the old days, we all tried the PowerPoint template and we uh, spent a lot of time trying to make the design and a lot of measurement trying to mimic these measures to be applied in the patient mouse. You, it was easy to show the patient a good design on the 2D images, but to achieve or to apply this design in the, uh, in the intraoral and in the patient mouse, this was the, uh, the hard step. <clears throat> but now, Using the digital smile design, we can combine the 2D images with the, uh, the intraoral impression, which is a 3D digital impression. With, uh, what will make your design is a 3D design. It will be more accurate and more applicable. So now you can design and make the mock-up on the uh, design software like what we see in the ExoCAD. And you can show the patient a virtual mock-up on the 2D images. But this is not the good results. You can even brand this design or the mock-up into a 3D branded model. And then you can take an index on this 3D branded model to make an intra-oral mock-up. And this is a very good point that you have to make in aesthetic cases. Don't depend only on the 2D images. You have to reach this point. And if everything is accurate and you make a good design, you will get a very good mock-up like I can see. This was the mock-up just I, uh, after I removed the index. And because I'm working on a 3D mock-up, as you can see, there is a minimal excess and a very good replica for the design you have made on the computer. And imagine that you are showing the patient or the future smile or the future design that you can reach and now she can try and in her patient, she can try to smile, she can try to talk and check everything. And also you cannot uh, forget about the picture from side, from the front and every, every view to check everything. This will help you a lot. And you can check the smile and show all this picture to the patient. She will be convinced easily to your treatment plan. <clears throat> and for me, I recommend to take videos also. So I take videos for the patient preoperatively during talk, and you can ask her to talk freely, ask her to pronounce some special letter like the S, F, and so on, and focus on the two centers. These videos can show you how she smiled and how the amount exactly she showed from her centers. And if you are going to increase the length of the central, this video will help you the limit or the amount you can ex uh, extend the length of the centrals. Then you can take another videos for the mock-up and show the patient before and after. Imagine that you have done all this before you even touch her centrals. Now, when you tell her about your treatment plan and all your results, she will be convinced easily and she will accept your treatment. But still we have the question, we said digital smart design or ExoCAD, this 
must you must have a two visit from the patient one uh, in which you take the 2d images and the digital impression then in the second visit you will make the uh, digital smile design or the mock-up and show the patient but you have to ask yourself can you do this in single visit Actually, you can do it maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Thanks to the artificial intelligence and augmented reality, we have some applications now that can make it instantly smile design that augmented on the patient mouse. Let's see, this is an application called Evo Smile from Evo Clar Viva Dent Company, in which the application in a good elimination takes some photos for the patient and start to make a virtual smile design but what is beautiful in this smile design is that it's augmented instantly with the patient in a live view. And in this design, you can control everything. The length of the teeth, the shape of the teeth, uh, the shade, if you want to show the patient uh, a brighter color or something like that. Even you can control the color of the gingiva. Imagine, imagine this, okay? And after you make all this setup, you can show the patient honestly the smile design augmented on her picture in a live view. So the patient in 10 minutes can uh, see how her future smile going to be in every aspects. This is exactly what appears on the screen. Can you see? She scrolled before and after and see the difference between the smile design before and after. This only in 10 minutes. But this application, unfortunately, are not uh applied uh only on app store not in other stores so you need to have an iphone minimally uh, iphone 12 i think the second scenario is the shade problem and the shade good selection especially if you are working with an emax restoration so what is the problem i'm not talking about the shade problem the shade itself i'm, to uh, I'm talking about special situation that you have, will have a different restoration with different thickness and maybe different material. How you guarantee from the technician that it will send you the same uh, shade and the same and in the old restorations? To understand what I'm saying, let's take an example. In this case, Dua is a little bit old patient. She's uh, 53 years old. She old as she already uh, refused to make any orthodontic treatment. She said, "I'll only have these overlap centrals. I need to fix them in a better way." The right central was already have a trauma, and it was uh, in the doctor in the doctor treated. So we decided to make a single crown for the right central, combined with a single veneer for the left one, to uh, realign and reshape the two central in a better way. But now you have a crown with a thickness maybe one point five, and a veneer that is zero point five in thickness. How you are sure that when you deliver these two different thickness restoration that you will have the same shade at the end? Because as you know, as the thickness is decreased, the translucency increased. So this is the challenge, okay? But if you apply all the rules, you will have a perfect restoration that can match each other and you will not be differentiate between the, 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 the crown and the veneers. As you can see, under complete isolation, a dry, beautiful field, you can control everything. We cement the crown and veneer successfully. Everything was good. And this is the final outcome. The level of the gingiva was adjusted and the contour and the two center aligned and the result was very good. Same shade, everything is good. Let's see how can the digital or the applications uh, or the new digital tools can help you in that. To understand, when you work with an lithium disilicate press or CAD, you have to identify what is the shade. And shade here, not all, not only the A1, A2, A3, and so on. You have also the translucency. We have an HT, which stands for high translucency, medium translucency, low translucency, medium opacity, and so on. So the inch block or each ingot have a shade and a translucency. How is a, is a technician or you and the doctor uh, should choose the optimal or the proper ingot for each restoration so that at the end, each restoration has the same shade? Let's take a more complicated case. 
Basma here have a single uh, crown on the right central that have an old uh, porcelain fused to metal. When we remove the all the crown, uh, it revealed the very very hard staining, as you can see, very dark staining due to the metal of the uh, the crown. For me, as a doctor, I tried to help the technician and build a core, a white core material, as you can see, trying to mask the color of the crown. But now, as you can see here, we have uh, a single crown on the right central combined with two veneer in the central and the lateral. So we have a lot of uh, challenges here, which is the different restoration. We have crown and veneers. And also we have different thicknesses, as we mentioned, like the case before, 0.5 thickness for the veneers and 1.5 to 2 for the crowns. And here we have a different challenge also, which is the ND shade. The ND shade or die shade or stump shade, they are all the same uh, acronym for the same meaning, which is the shade of the prepared teeth. Okay, so I will give you an equation I have made with my colleague, Dr. Muhammad Al Ashri, using some application would help you to choose the proper angle. This application is called a shade navigation app. It's by also Evoclar, Bibadent, Emacs. They are the companies that fabricate the ingots. This application will help you in some steps to choose the proper ingot. First step is to choose the two shade. Like this is the normal, usual step that all gonna do, the two shade. Then you specify what is the restoration you're gonna use or the main, a veneers, crowns, inlays, onlays, whatever. Then you choose the dye shade or the ND shade, as I mentioned. Then the thickness of the restoration. And last, what is the material? You will go for the zirconia or Emacs press, Emacs CAD, whatever. And at the end, the application will tell you or give you uh, what is uh, the best ingot you have to use for each restoration. So, for example, for the case we showed for each restoration, the right central, you will uh, input all the data for the tools. And the application will say, for example, for the right central, choose an ingot of LTA2. But for the veneers, try to use MTA1 and so on. So that at the end, with a different thickness, you will achieve the same shade. So first, as we mentioned, there's two shade itself, then the dye shade or the ND shade. And we give the thickness. And under complete isolation, you will see how beautiful the refiner restoration they are and they are matched correctly. Can you differentiate now between the, uh, the crown and the lateral? No, because we already applied the equation very good. We have here a central and two veneers and they are all with the same shade, same translucency, same effects. This is not easy, but if you apply the equation, you will get a beautiful results. And definitely by time, if your restoration are a good adapted and there is no any excess cement, you will get this beautiful gingival profile as you can see. If you see this beautiful gingival, this means that your restorations are very well adapted and close to the margin. This is what the final results. Then we come to the last scenario, which is guided preparation. And when I say guided preparation, I mean that how the digital tools can help you to plan or to diagnose and to guide you during the preparation uh, step. Let's see Hadil. Hadil came to uh, my clinic. She has a severe crowding in the upper anterior, as you can see. A V-shaped narrow arch. She had or uh, orthodontic, orthodontic treatment. She when she was a little bit young, and now she reviews anything related to orso. And the lateral you actually seeing are not uh, her lateral. These are uh, composite veneers, because the lateral already are a little bit palatally placed, especially the upper right one. So this is the uh, intraoral impression, and Please take two, um, two D images and take the impression and let the patient go home and on computer start 
studying and the patient the and the case very well. As you can see, this uh, case is very challenging. Regarding the teeth itself, we have an uh, overlap centrals. We have a crowding in the upper anteriors. Even the gingiva is not that good. The gingival contour is not proper. Uh, but they are different between the centrals and the lateral, as you can see. So I can use a digital tool to imagine or design how much I need to uh, replace or to correct the gingival line. For example, here I use a digital smile designing software. I mirrored the left side, which was a little bit accepted or good. I mirrored it on the right center, on the right part. Then I overlap the two impressions together and start seeing how much I need to displace the gingiva, apically to reach a good gingival contour. All of this before I start making any preparation. Also, I make the digit I made the digital smile design using the exocat. You need 2D images, one with a normal smile and the other one is retracted smile, but all other points are fixed as you can see. We made the digital smile design and in the design, you can see in section every part of the tooth. When you need to remove, when you need to add, all this will help you to make a guided preparation. You will not go to prep blindly like normal preparation because this is a special situation. Some areas need to just add, so we will not remove anything from the teeth. And in other areas where the teeth are a little bit rotated, you need from the dis remove, for example, from the distal part more than the mesial. So when you have a guided preparation, you are more conservative for your patient. We can take session, sections in all teeth and start planning, 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 because you have you can plan uh, twice, but you also uh, always don't forget you cut once. Uh, we make also the digital uh, mock-up index and trying the patient mouse, and now we are ready for the preparation. I will show you how all the time I spent for the planning. Uh, helped me a lot in the preparation phase. Here, this is the final impression, superimposed with the uh, design or the mock-up design. You can see here how much I displaced my gingiv uh, my uh, finish line gingivally in the right side more than the left side. As you can see here, on the left side only 0.7 to be slightly uh, subgingival, while in the right side. For example, I displayed the lateral 2.2 millimeters and for the central 1.2. So that at the end, by heating, I can get a good gingival contour. All this I cannot reach without a good planning from the start. So this was the restoration coming from the lab. And now we are ready for the adhesion protocol. For the adhesion, you deal with the tooth surface and the restoration surface. For the tooth surface, it's a normal uh, adhesion. You make selective etch, whatever is the protocol you use or the adhesion you use. You can use selective etching and apply your universal adhesive. And for the resin cement, definitely, if you are going to uh, cement veneers, we use a light cured resin cement to give you the up to time to start see, uh, seating and adapting the veneers and removing all the excess before curing. For the restoration phase, we have a different protocol according to the material you're going to cement. For example, here we, uh, if you guys use, uh, use the lithium disilicate, we start with a uh, hydrofluoric acid, 9%, and apply it for 20 seconds if you're going to use a uh, lithium disilicate uh, pressing type, or if you're going to use a cat, cat cam type, cat blocks type, you apply for 60 seconds. Then Go for the hydrofluoric for the also phosphoric acid 37% for 60 seconds to remove the salts. Then apply your silane agent for 20 seconds and apply earthening very good. 
and it would be uh, recommended to use hot air. You can use an air dryer. The hot air will give you much, much more bonding strengths in the silane step. And now you are ready for the cementation. For cementation, as you can see, all the restoration are cemented under complete isolation. And you can, if you try the complete isolation with this beautiful dry field, which give you the control of everything, you will not you will not be able to cement anything without the rubber dam. You will be addict to the rubber dam. So we start always with two the central veneer. Then you can complete laterals or a side by side. So we start with the two centrals, then the right side, the lateral and canine and the premolar. And I would like to uh, notice you here that you have, if you notice that we have different preparation design for the veneers, as you can see, for the central and lateral, I go, I went for the incisal preparation design, but for the canine, I prefer to go for the wraparound preparation design. And if you ask me why, because the canine always is a canine guidance and the patient depend on the canine during all the lateral movement. So he held a lot of forces. I prefer to go for the wraparound. But for the uh, premolar, I prefer the window preparation to stay away from the lingual or the palatal incline of the buccal cusp so that I keep that away from the occlusion and nothing interfere with the normal occlusion of the patient. So, if you understand the preparation design, you can have a different design in the same preparation. Yes, as you can see here, I have the window preparation for the premolar, I have the rubber hour for the canines, and the incisal edge reduction for the four anteriors, laterals, and centrals. Also, the premolar other side have the window preparation, as you can see. This was exactly the moment I removed the rubber dam after I finished my cementation. Imagine that you are doing the cementation without rubber dam. How was the bloody mess you would have? So definitely, please do all your uh, cementation under complete isolation. With time, you uh, if your restorations are very well adapted and you don't have any excess cement, don't worry. You will your gingiva or the gingiva of the, of the patient will heal and give you the beautiful pink colored gingiva. By time, as you can see, gingiva is getting better and this was the final results. As you can see, beautiful smile. The patient was very, very happy. She couldn't imagine uh, a better, for a better smile. And me, myself, I also was very happy with this challenging case. So let's, Go for another case. Ale. Ale also have a spaced anterior teeth. She had dental students. Uh, if you if you can see here in the central and the lateral, we have a slight geng knee gingival contouring for the central and lateral. You can with a light touch or a laser touch here to modify, as you can see, the gingival contour so that at the end it gives you uh, a better uh, outcome. With the same concept for the digital smile design on the exocad, you can design the uh, the final outcome. Combine. The Sorry, doctor. Uh, can we just interrupt? Uh, there are like a few black lines on the screen. Is it possible to remove them, please? These are notifications that are notifying me. Someone is enter the the meeting. I don't know. I don't know how to prevent this from coming up. I will try to remove it. Ah, okay. Okay, sorry. Now it's good? Now, there is one more line, but those disappeared. Yeah, there is one big one, but that's... Is it still possible? Ah. Wait. Ahmed Kamal, you have raised hand. Do you want to say something? About the uh, plug lines. Okay, so you can put your hand down. Okay, so it's better now. We can continue. Thank you very much. Okay, so now you 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 get used to the protocol. We take that we uh, take two D images and digital impression and combine them, and with the digital. Now the presentation stopped.
Okay. With the 2D images and the digital impression, you combine them and on the ExoCAD, as we mentioned before, start making your digital smile design to show the patient what is her future smile gonna be. And here is in this video, you will see how we made this digital smile design. Starting with uh, matching the 2D images with the uh, impression and then applying all the uh, parameters of the smile analysis that we already study, the lines between the eyes and the curves, all the lines of curves, you apply everything, check the width, length, straight shoe. And then we can even choose the shade of the teeth. So next step, as usual, 3D branded model, index, and try in the patient mouse. This will be with usual protocol. So here is the mock-up. And in the mock-up stage, you discuss with the patient everything. The length of the interiors, what if the, we close the space, if the width-length ratio here is accepted for the patient or not. And here, you will ask yourself and the patient a question, which is, what are, what are the treatment options for this patient? The patient have spacing between the anterior teeth, and she wants to close. And specific, specifically, this patient was a dental student, and she asked for the most conservative treatment that can modify the shape without making a lot of preparation to the teeth. So I recommended for her the injectable composite technique. And believe me, this technique have a lot of advantages and disadvantages. But if you apply it well, and with a good selection of the patient, you will get benefit from the advantages and stay away from the disadvantages. So I choose for here the injectable composite technique, and it required a patient that have a very, very good gingival condition and uh, with a good, very good oral hygiene. And I was lucky she's a dentist, so, uh, of course, she will take a good care of her teeth and stick to the follow-up uh, visits. So we choose this technique. It's the most conservative one. Uh, in this case, we will not have to uh, remove anything from the teeth, just to work by applying just uh, soft flex test to rub the enamel and then inject the composite. But you have to tell the patient all the disadvantages. So I told her composite may be stained the during uh, three to four years, you will have to remake the polishing and finishing and polishing step. Uh, it's a little bit weak than ceramic, so a fracture could happen anywhere. So you, you, you discuss with the patient all the disadvantages and let the patient decide. And she agrees with me for the injectable composite techniques. Let's see how we apply this technique. Uh, one 3D blunted model for the, this technique is not enough. You need a second model, and but please take care. The second model have one tooth with a uh, with a mock-up design and with one natural tooth. So we have some of the teeth are without any future design that act as a stoppers for the tray, as you can you will see in the uh, next slides. We fabricate the tray for the injection. It's a transparent trays. We have different material to fabricate this tray and then open the injection holes, as you can see. And here you will see I'm, uh, I'm making a, a trial injection. This was a trial one, not the vinyl one. To so check the material, check the tray, the seating of the tray, check everything. As you can see here, we just inject tooth and covering the neighboring with a, a Teflon. And we inject alternatively. So if you are injecting the lateral, you will inject the other center and leave the lateral and inject the canine. So you inject three T's alternatively, then remove the tray, start removing and finishing a little bit the excess. Then start 
injection, the other team, as you can see here. So then at the end, you injected the six anteriors. I repeat also, this is a trial injection, not the final injection, because the final injection must be under complete isolation, like you will see. And this was the results after the trial injection. I get used to the technique and check everything, check the tray, check the material, and so on. And if everything is okay, now you are ready for the final injection. As you can see, we made just roughening for the surface using the softlex. Uh, only the right central that I have small carries that I removed with the bird, and I was ready for the injection. As I explained, when we inject, we, we, we inject alternatively, two and uh, escape one and go to the another one to act as a stoppers. Then we shift for the other teeth. Etching, bonding, then inject, then the rest. And this was the final after injecting the six anteriors. Slide finishing and polishing. And you will get a beautiful restoration in an easy way. But as I mentioned, the patient must have a very good oral hygiene. Otherwise, this technique will be uh, not easy. This was the final results two weeks after uh, operation. And uh, also I have one year follow up for this patient. She is my student. So whatever I want to make the follow up, I just call her, come to make the follow up. This before and after and this one year one, maybe about 1.5, one year and a half also. As you can see, all the damage that can have uh, happen to the composite is a little bit changes the color. And if the occlusion is okay, uh, fraction will not happen. The last case here that we have in the Shayme came with two fractured centers, as you can see, and she also wanted to close the gaps and modify the shape for the center. Before you made anything, start restoring the two centrals. This is the first step you have to do. Then start about the option. Here, the two as the anteriors is uh, a little bit short. Width to length ratio is not good. So it needed to make a re gingival recontouring, but actually the patient refused. So I tell her, let's make a smile design also and check with the mock-up what's gonna be the result. So, with the same steps, as you can see here, I elongated the two centrals in the mock-up, as you can see. Uh, and the, for the centrals and lateral, it was good after I elongated them. But for the canine, it was very short canine, but the patient accepted that she will have the uh, that short one. So we proceed for the preparation. And here we made a guided mock-up preparation, which means I'm preparing through the mock-up. We started with the depth orientation rules and then make a mark and with a, a red coded rounded bird start your preparation. And here, let me tell you that the key for success of the veneers to have a very, very smooth with rounded internal angles preparation and the finish line must be uniform, very smooth because all the irregularities that could have, uh, you could have on the surface will affect the seating of your final veneers. So uh, pay more attention and uh, pay more efforts for the preparation and make it more, more and more smooth. How you can use this uh, diamond intent from uh, diamond birds on a low speed from intensive for finishing and polishing of the preparation. Also, there are a carbide finishing birds to finish your preparation or you can use uh, uh, the softlex desks to finish also. And this, the preparation after finishing and polishing, you can notice uh, 
uh, how much is very smooth and what is very important is the rounded angles. The round angle is very important, okay? Then you take the, your final digital impression. And here, this is a little trick. Thanks for the digital tool. Now we can take an, a preoperative impression. This is a preoperative impression before making any preparation. Then after you finish your pre preparation, you take also another one for the final. And they are two, to the, two together are superimposed for each other. And send them together to the lab. Now the lab have an idea about the gingival contour before retraction. Because usually we retract the gingiva and take impression, send it to the lab. The lab now have the picture like you can see now without any idea about the gingival contour. So it could uh, design and during the trying stage, you can have a black triangle, especially if you're working on a space teeth like this. But now, because the patient, the technician now have the shape and thickness of the gingiva, during design, he designed according to the gingiva. So in the trying stage, no more black triangles. Definitely no more black triangles. This was a restoration coming from the lab. And this was a try in, as you can see, you will not find any black triangle as a step of the try in. This was a try in. And definitely you will cement under complete isolation. As you can see, I love this view, this blue view and the perfect adaptation of the margin. It thanks for the smooth, uniform finish line and rounded preparation, as I mentioned. Perfect seal. We start with the two central, as I mentioned before. And definitely use a light cured resin cement. And please don't uh, let any excess cement harm your gingival tissue. Finish the central and goes for the lateral and then for the canine. And this was the final result, as you can see, from the premolar to the premolars. And this was our final month. By this case, I have ended my presentation. Please have a good day. And this is our my social account, the Facebook and Instagram. Feel free to uh, ask anything about any case or anything related to dentistry or even not related to dentistry. And at the end, I uh, encourage you to ask about uh, all the courses and uh, the postgrad continuous education courses we have in our uh, university, Alexander University. We have the clinical master's degree for oral laser application combined with Barcelona University. We have a good periodontal, periodontal uh, practice course. And we have a unique comprehensive dental implant that have been for 20 years also. And I'm waiting to see you all in our next Alexandria Dental Conference in next November, inshallah. Waiting to see you all. And thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Hossein. Honestly, the, the lecture was amazing. Honestly, the, the steps, the uh, cases, the selection, the explanation, everything was literally spot on. Honestly, I like Thank I really want I really want to try this already. <laughs> I really want to try all those techniques already. But thank you very much for the details, the the step by step, the the reasoning, the clinical significance of each of them. You really covered that off. Thank you very much, Dr. Hassam. Honestly, thank you, Manor. Uh, uh, forgive me, I was Zamahari, but I, I tried to cover a lot of cases and a lot of uh, trip centric. Uh, you really did. Thank you very much, Doctor. Honestly, um, so I open up the floor for anyone who wants to um, ask the doctor any questions. I think Ahmed Kamal. I don't know if you have your hands up, but you're. Uh, is it? Still up, or do you have a question? Yeah, I have. Uh, sure, you can ask the doctor right away. Uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. Hossam, for your uh, amazing presentation. Oh, I'm so happy uh, for uh, uh, cut it with uh, an Egyptian speaker, Yanni. Uh, <laughs> Was I have a, a two questions, Yanni. One of uh, about your uh, case or dental student. 
why you have a choice to to choose a darker uh, uh, shade? In which case, Muhammad? Uh, uh, your dental student. I don't remember her name, but I think the the shade uh, was a little bit darker. For the injection? Yeah. This one. Yeah. The uh, shade from the canine to canine uh, a little bit darker on the four or five or six. Uh, yes, this is, was a. Uh... Actually, you should in this in these techniques, the best material you're gonna use is the injectable composite from GC. And due to some uh, circumstances in our country, I didn't find the materials, so okay. I used uh, so a diff I used a different material, which was here. I don't I don't have to mention the the name of the company, but the different material gave me a little bit uh, different chain uh, different shade. But um, I'm planning with a uh, with my, with a patient to train them for uh, for a ceramic veneer actually. Okay, uh, I uh, I'm going to participate in uh, international competition with GC Yani, uh, okay. with with injectable uh, technique. Yes. Uh, so how to obtain the optimum aesthetic from this this technique Yani? Actually, uh, the best uh, results in this technique you need. Uh, material from GC as a as, as you, if you see the material yeah, it, that I used right. for the for the tray is uh, also I did I couldn't bring the GC which which is exact clear as a I know it. material here I use a different material uh, it was not that adapted that well and gave me a lot of excess so I uh, spend a lot of time uh, doing some uh, finishing and polishing but if you use the GC extra clear it will give you a more adapted uh, tree, so you will get a better adapted and less excess in the restoration. Second, if you use the injectable composite from the GC itself, it will give you yeah. a better shade, better shade uh, at the end. And the color also are more uh, stable for the GC injectable technique. Okay, uh, the, uh, the shade. Uh, Mokin, I try it by white shade well uh, I don't if, have if, uh, if you you can you can you make a trial injection like I'd made and in the trial injection for one or two to, uh, teeth if you found that the shade is a little bit darker shift to the brighter one for in the final injection okay thank I you I always make a trial injection okay uh, thank you Dr. Hussam uh, uh, for your amazing presentation and I'm so proud uh, for your uh, being Egyptian uh, speaker again. Thank you. Thank you, Muhammad. It's my pleasure. Thank you, uh, Ahmed. Thank you very, very much. Sorry. Are there any questions? Uh, uh, So finally, since there's no, no more questions, I would just like to conclude and once again thank Dr. Hussain for this webinar and his for his time and his efforts. And on the group chat, people are already, uh, all the participants are thanking you, doctor. And the heart goes out from the Dr. Mariam. <laughs> so thank you very, very much, Dr. Hussain, for your time and for your concise and to the point and an amazing presentation and work honestly I wouldn't go do my veneers anywhere else <laughs> if it was to me so that's a heads up so thanks doctor thank you very much and thank you all to our participants please don't forget uh, to fill in the forms um, to get your uh, certificate of attendance and um, see you guys all again for our uh, next uh, webinar of the month which we'll be sending and posting on our social media so uh, see you guys there and um, that's it. Thank you very uh, much. Okay, okay. Ahmed, do you have another question? Okay. Yeah. If it is <laughs> possible ahead. for me to try any case with uh, uh, shade uh, uh, navigation app. Sorry, can you ask the question again? Can we, try, can we try any any case with the shade navigation app? Uh, 
Sure, you can have... it now. When we're talking, you can download the uh, the application and try it. I I have I have it. يعني ممكن من two years, but I can't uh, use it. يعني بصراحة. Why? What is the problem? يعني ال cheats بالضبط إن هو how can it choose the not... Look, Ahmed, it is not it is not an application to give you the shade you have to use. It's an application that can help you if you have a different restoration with different thickness. If you have a different okay. restoration with different thickness and you send the lab just saying, I want this restoration, for example, A2. And the lab used the same ingot for the two restoration, Emax veneers and a crown. And you have a crown of 2.0 millimeter thickness and a veneer was 0.5. And the technician used the same ingot with the same translucency and same shade for both of them. Usually, usually 70 or 80%, the results will not be good. When you, you have on the model, they will be the same. But when you apply the patient mouse, you, found, you will find that the color A2 is on the uh, crown only. But when you apply the veneer, which is 0.5 millimeter thickness, with, will to be much more translucent and give you a, a different shade. So you have to use the application, apply all the data that I have mentioned, and definitely it will give you a different ingot for the crown rather than the Emax. And here you have to, uh, what can you say? You can educate your technician to use it to get a better uh, restorations. Thank you, Dr. Hassam. Uh, thank you very much for clarifying, and thank you, Ahmed. I can call you on Facebook. Yeah, okay. it would be lovely to okay, contact sure. the doctor on social media for further uh, clarification into the know-how. But um, again, thank you again, Dr. Hassam, and thank you all for the participants. And see you guys at our next webinar, and uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you all, and see you again thank for the next webinar. See you again, doctor. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.